age and today i want to show you how we are going to vaccinate them we are going to give them the three in one vaccine that's the lasota gumboro and the egg drop syndrome so come with me and let me show you what the best look like now Like I always say, if you want to have a big farm, it's good that you are a little far from civilization. And as you can see here, we have the disinfectant bath where vehicles pass through. So in that process, the tires are disinfected. This biosecurity measure alone can save you from a lot of troubles. So it's time to get in and see the wonderful birds. They were brought in at 12 weeks old and this is their 16th week. They have spent about 4 weeks on the farm. Once again, biosecurity is very important and that's why we have the foot deep here. You have to dip your leg in before you enter. We are using the automatic injector for the operation and this is the vaccine we are using. It tackles Newcastle disease, avian bronchitis disease that's the infectious bronchitis disease and then the egg drop syndrome this can be administered according to the manufacturer's guide from 16 to 28 week that is within that window is the right time to administer and you administer 0.5 mils per hen so you're starting the operation and one important thing here is the ability of the handlers to be able to present the birds in the perfect way possible this guy here was just getting used to the operation and it was a bit of a challenge in the beginning so it slowed down the process a little but once most of them got the hang of it the process was faster so it's important that you are very careful when you are doing this we are we are using the subcutaneous route of administration that is we are applying it just in the lower neck region that's what the manufacturer of the vaccine advises so we're using the lower neck region as the route of administration and you can see the automatic syringe there so you have you have to be very careful so that you don't puncture any organ that you're not supposed to touch you're just supposed to push it down under the skin just about one centimeter in and you just push the syringe this syringe that i'm using has been calibrated to deliver just 0.5 mils to each bird so every time i push in the handle it's just the exact 0.5 mils that will come out of the syringe and that's why we call them automatic syringes instead of having to by yourself set the gauge each time you are pressing this one you just set once you're starting the operation and it just keeps on delivering the exact amount that you have preset it to deliver so even if it's 0.2 you set there it's going to deliver just that once again i'm going to commend the handlers because the speed of this operation actually depends largely on them if they are able to present it well like this guy you know what we're saying here is that it's still yet to adapt to that method of presenting the birds once they can present the birds well to the professional who is doing the vaccination then the process becomes a lot faster. It's also a good practice to administer multivitamins to the birds prior to the vaccination day. A day to the vaccination will be a good time to start and then you still give them for about two days after the vaccination just for them to cope well with the vaccination stress. I want you to take a close look at this sample bird. You can see the site of administration and you can see that creamy fluid deposited underneath the skin that's exactly what we want to achieve so that's a quick one on how to administer the three in one vaccine and we expect these ends to give us their best when they start to produce if you like this video do well to click that like button it's very important to us and if you are to subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button one last thing to do is to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upload once again, this is DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. See you in the next one.